Hey guys, Luke here, I'm here to do another episode of my Liverpool FC career mode. Now this is sort of a season recap, I haven't really got any results in front of me or any gameplay or anything. Just talking off the top of my head and just going over my thoughts on the season as a whole. Now I want to say, I think that's actually a pretty successful one. We didn't have any Champions League or anything to deal with, which could be a problem next season. Just the more games, a um, lot more fatigue in the squad, but I think we handled it well. We had adequate depth, I think. Um, we got rid of a lot of Deadwood, Jay Allen and... Um, a few players like that, Kovala Toure, that sort of stuff. Players that just weren't required, but also ended up getting rid of Mario Balotelli for a big fee. Also, uh, Mignolet ended up leaving. It's a little bit of a shame, um, considering he did come quite good. For, he was quite good for us, to be totally honest with you. Not speaking about real life, just speaking about the game. Uh, we brought in Bern Leno and brought in Jackson Martinez. Uh, Leno, I'm a little bit iffy on him. He, you know, he's had some great performances. He's had some really shocking performances towards the end of the season. But Jackson Martinez, what a signing he was. Um, hopefully he can keep it up. Uh, I expect us to receive some stupid amounts of offers for him over the summer. I don't plan on letting him go, but um, let's leave it at that. Daniel Starr is just fantastic this year. Um, had a few injuries here and there, but um, when he was on the field, he was absolutely outstanding. Philippe Coutinho, another good player, um, quite good. Adam Lallana had his moments. Um, don't, don't know if we need him anymore, but... And he was okay. Uh, Stevie G didn't get too many opportunities. I just feel the roles he has, you know, I don't, I'd rather play uh, Mascarano, who we ended up signing, or Lucas when we had him. I'd rather play one of them in the CDM roles, and I'd also rather play Coutinho and, you know, those lads, um, Sterling, and that in the cam role instead of um, Gerard. But, you know, in the games he played, he was alright. Um, Jordan Henderson, I really like Jordan Henderson on the game, you know, in real life, but he's sort of one of those players who's, you know, he's a, he's a solid player, but he's not an outstanding player and uh, I sort of find it hard to find him a place in the squad uh, especially in that center because like I said we've got Mascarano Coutinho they're a lock in for that spot when they're fit at this stage um, he did make some signings for the end of the season like Kevin Volan and stuff and I think they were just they were just there because I was looking for someone with a bit of versatility a bit of potential uh, you know had some okay speed and all that sort of stuff and he was alright um, wasn't anything outstanding but you know he did the job I suppose um, we also we just want another winger. We did have Shakiri. We brought Shakiri at the start of the season, and he was good. But we needed another backup, um, as well as Markovic. Markovic was very good in this game. Um, can't complain about him. In terms of actual performances, and I will be doing another video. The next video will be going over our top performances of the year, um, and then the next one will be top goals of the year. So there's a few more videos to come. But um, our best performances, just off the top of my head, you know, we'll, we had some strong games against Chelsea, um, particularly like the, that first one. We end up having a draw, but in terms of how good Chelsea were last season, the fact that we, we had a draw and we should have won, um, you know, it shows we had a pretty strong performance against them, and I'm happy about that. Also, had unlucky to have a draw against Man City. I think we both games we played were draws, but they pinched a 90th, 90th um, equalizer, which is quite annoying. In terms of actually, like, romps, we destroyed Swansea. We destroyed QPR, like, 4 or 5 nil ones. Um, pretty happy about that. I'll go over them more in the next video. Um, also, we did the double over Man United, so I'm super happy about that. Uh, we also did double over Everton, and not convincing wins too. Uh, actually, maybe the second one wasn't. I think Martinez bailed us out late for Everton, but um, either way, two two wins against two quality opposition um, and their arrival. So, good stuff there. Uh, the ball was pretty happy with me, so I can't complain. Hopefully, we can keep it up next year. I expect they want us to win the title next year. Whether we can do it is another matter. Um, like I said, we've got Champions League coming up. Um, and we, we do have depth for the Premier League, but I don't know if we've got the depth to actually win the league. Um, Chelsea are just so strong. We'll have to see who we can actually bring in to strengthen the squad or how much money we're going to have for next season. Um, I suspect we'll have a fair bit, but I can't really think of any major sales we're going to have. So what we get is what you know, we're not really going to get any more. So... Just going to have to work that. Hopefully some of our youngsters from the Youth Academy can you know, come into the squad and do a bit of a job there. I think Archibald, whatever his name is, is Spanish. He seems like a pretty good prospect. I think he should reach the 90s, I reckon. Um, plus, we do have some current people. I think there was an Mnes dude, or he was a Dutch player. I think he should reach the squad at some stage. Uh, just a matter of whether I persevere with them and um, don't sell them off before they reach their full potential, which I don't think I will, but you know, you never know. Overall, um, my thoughts on the season, good one, um, pretty happy with it, uh, it's another building block, uh, Brandon Rogers got them the second, I got them the second, uh, I think League Cup or whatever, the only disappointment was um, that the Cups, I think we got knocked out in like the semis for both of them, the FA Cup, Capital One Cup, whatever, I think to Arsenal and Sunderland or someone, like, 
it was, it was really annoying because um, so close to get so far, but um, just gonna have to go for him next time, um, next season. Hopefully we can do that. Hopefully we can get our first piece of silverware. Um, yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know what sort of gameplay I've got at the moment, but um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, keep watching and check out my other videos. And I'll see you for the next one, guys. Bye.